This is the disassembly process for a Brody valve cylinder assembly once it has been removed from the valve body. For this project, you'll need the following tools, an Allen wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a rubber mallet or hammer, and an extra pair of hands. Remove the jack out screws so they do not interfere with removal of the cylinder head. Get an Allen wrench ready and ask your assistant to hold the cylinder head to prevent possible personal injury. There are six cylinder head screws. Begin removing the cylinder head screws. As the retaining screws are loosened, spring tension is released. When the screws are completely loose, the cylinder head will come off quickly because of the large spring under tension directly underneath. So be sure to have a firm grip on it. Leave two opposing screws loose, but in place until the other screws are removed, and then remove the final two screws. Again, be sure your assistant has a firm grip on the cylinder head. Remove the head carefully, then set the cylinder head and the cylinder screws aside. Remove the valve spring. Remove the piston assembly. This might take a little help from the handle of a hammer since it's a tight fit. Once the piston assembly is removed, set it aside. Use a standard screwdriver to remove the retaining ring. Remove the seal ring and the seal. These should come out easily by hand. Then using your screwdriver, remove the outside seals from the top and from the lower part of the cylinder and the cylinder head seal. Finally, remove the O-ring from the piston. The disassembly is complete.